whenever it was that I first read Allen Ginsberg's Howl. There's a stanza. Who studied Plotinus, Poe, St. John of the Cross, telepathy, and Bop Kabbalah because the cosmos instinctively vibrated at their feet in Kansas. And when I read that, I just, Bop Kabbalah, what? I love that. Bop refers to bebop. Kabbalah, the tradition of Jewish mysticism, and Kabbalah, the word itself in Hebrew means tradition. So it's jazz, mysticism, jazz, and tradition simply on a poetic level, spoke to me. I think of Bob Kabbalah as Jewish-inspired jazz meets contemporary composition. There are eight pieces on the CD, and I thought, let's think of this as short stories. The record is exploring this question of what does it mean to be a contemporary Jewish musician? I play music in the jazz world, in the rock world, in the classical world, but I also play in the Jewish music scene in New York. And so Jewish music has been a part of my musical life for, for years. So I wanted to create music that was, you know, my compositional voice and to use Jewish music as some kind of point of departure. Cossack who smelt of vodka. It has this very frenetic swing feel, fast, frenzied with these, these long tones on the guitar and bass clarinet. And then it all kind of vanishes. You know, I remember talking to my grandma. She came to the States as a teenager after World War I. And one thing she talked about was the Cossacks. She was talking about them in the context of pogroms and how hard things were. And that obviously made an impression on me. And that's not just my story. You know, that's many people's story. I make music that is inviting and challenging and kind of plays with those two strains. exchanging pleasantries with a wall. It begins with this guitar figure. It's basically a melodic line that uh, gets harmonized and unfurls. Most of that 10 and a half minute recording that we have is unwritten. When you have improvised music that you're recording, there, there has to be a certain amount of trust with the musicians. Ken Thompson, our bass clarinetist, we know each other very well. We have a strong rapport. He can play any written thing you put in front of him, and he's a great improviser. Drummer Adam Gold. He's got his feet in the worlds of jazz, classical, rock. He can be ferocious and explosive, and he can play with such delicacy. Ben Holmes, when I thought about a trumpet player, he was a clear choice, someone who can improvise, who can read, who knows jazz, who knows Jewish music. You know, when you think about a band, you want to think about what can people do and how is it to be with them? <laughs> What's the hang like? So, yeah, that was the group. It's hard to know what your music will mean to people either now or in the future. It's one CD, it's one group, it's not going to tackle all of Jewish history in eight pieces of music. That would be impressive. What can you explore as Jewish music? And Bob Kabbalah, 
I hope it's my compelling answer to that question.